Most of the time, when you're working with voiceover narration, the voice will be professionally recorded and you'll be provided with audio files that you can then import into Final Cut and work with like any other clip. However, sometimes you just need to record some basic scratch audio as a placeholder to work with until you get the professional audio. Let's talk about how to record this scratch audio. So I'm going to go into 6.5, and I have our farm to table opening sequence. And I'm waiting for the professional voiceover audio to come in. Basically, the narration is just going to give a little tease of the program here at the end of the sequence. I'm going to set everything up, and then I'll record the audio so we can plug it into the right spot. So first of all, I'm just going to position the playhead at the location that I want the scratch narration to start. And because Final Cut's default setting is to loop the playback as soon as we get to the end of the sequence, so it starts over at the beginning, I want to turn that off because I want to record the narration past the end of the sequence. So I'm going to come up to View, Playback, and Turn Off, Loop Playback for now. And now I'll open up the Record Audio window. I'll go to Window, Record Audio, and we just need to configure this. So here at the top, we have the destination event. So it's going in the farm to table event, which is good. And we have an input device. So I have a USB microphone connected to my system. So that's good. And then we have this monitor checkbox, which you can check if you would like to hear yourself as you record. So as long as you have some headphones, you can go ahead and check that. Next, you want to make sure your levels are OK. And as you can see here, I have my audio meters that show me my levels. And just as before, we want to make sure that my voice is peaking within normal ranges between negative 12 and negative 6. So, so far, so good. I think I'm ready to record. One other thing I'm going to do is just disable the music because this is going to play as I run over this last part of the sequence. So I want to make sure that it's quiet. So I'm just going to right click and choose disable. I think I'm set, so I'm going to go ahead and press this red button to start, and then I'll press it again to stop. Prepare to follow B.D. Douge as we embark on the journey of the farm-to-table movement, a delicious adventure of organic farming. Great. So if you take a look in the timeline, the audio was recorded right into my sequence, and it was also saved in my library. If I come to farm-to-table, and here it is, voiceover 4. And if I like, I can create an audio keyword collection to store it in. But coming down to the audio clip in my timeline, let's go ahead and listen to it. And then we might want to trim it up to make sure that we remove any parts that I don't want. So let's enable the music again. And we'll probably actually want the music to play over the narration, but we'll probably want to bring it down a little bit. And let's see what we've got. Prepare to follow B.D. Douge as we embark on the journey of the farm-to-table movement, a delicious adventure of organic farming. Perfect. Let's go ahead and just ripple trim this so that I get rid of my empty space. And I can move this around. Notice that my anchor point, my connection point here, is connected to a gap clip. So regardless of if there's material in the primary storyline or not, every connected clip must connect to something. So in this case, it's connected to a gap clip. But maybe I want to replace it with an exciting visual, so I can just come up to Farm Scenery. Let me close my record audio. And just do a Replace Edit right here. Replace from Start. And now we've got some visuals to go with our narration. So as you can see, this is a pretty streamlined process. Again, you should certainly strive for professional recording conditions for any serious project, but getting some basic scratch track into Final Cut Pro 10 couldn't be easier.